I see you at the hanging, friend. Ah, some hanging. No offense, a bunch of but uh, they're scaring my customers. I heard this. Zoltan. Dandelion. My former. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Something interesting here. Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoyatil. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the Free Kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about. But his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is the hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman. I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman. Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Careful, Go, Witcher! Got room for one more deviant! <laughs> They're lying anyway! <laughs> Come on up! Got room for one more deviant! Assaulted an officer! Go on, go on! Got room for one more deviant! going on uh, uh, I'd like to re re report <laughs> out of my sight clover a few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them and you stay calm hands off your sword 
Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? You have no right to hang them. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the King. Well, well. Blue Stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoia'tael falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way. But I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery neath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. For a little contest. For me, here's what you're owed. You ought to give Wiry Wilkes a shot. <laughs> D 
Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Full Test? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Aye. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lands, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest's killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, and cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. 
Where's this beast? Ask her! Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here! Birds of a feather! Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish! The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel! Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monsters vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Oh, you're trying that black magic on me? Come on, lads! This sorcerer's eager for a thrashing! I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merz, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Cairn was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning.
I think the stew's ready. Quiet woman. Artist at work. You might want to stir it. I don't stir. I work. Hello, get out. Hey, boss, look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Fizzy, works a blur in his hands. And how are you, Witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So, how can we help you, eh? Hello, Geralt. So ha So how... So...
Here comes the no, what I, crew with those swords? I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Take a good look at him. <laughs> He'd be ideal. <coughs> watch it, watch it. So how's it going? We met in Vizima, remember? I stood at the gate to the outskirts. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Thank you, Master. Drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum, and that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem, then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass! Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his way, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll, and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. No. No what? No passage. Give Volker you passage. Do I look like an innkeeper to you? No Volker. No passage. <laughs> Shit, you stink. <laughs> Ugh. 
Enough! Don't hit! I'd be good! You're drunk. Vodka good? Head hurt, I. But no pain in brain. Brain pain always comes with a reason. They kill my woman. She good. She cooked meat. Who killed her? Don't know. Me sit on bridge. Go home. No meat smell. Woman dead. Had no head. Guts to drink. In can't go, people that kill. But guts to drink. If I find your woman's murderers, will you put aside the booze? You no find none. We'll see. I've got friends here. I'll talk to them. Seek the elf named Cedric. Any, Any work for a witcher? Enough work for three. But what of it? We're poor folk. I'm sure we can work something out. Ye best go to Flotsam Town Square near the inn. There are notices on the board there. Just leave the troll be, please, no matter what the townsfolk say. I heard you don't want to get rid of the troll. Who'll maintain the bridge when he's gone? Hire some people. Know the cost of a craftsman these days? That idiot troll looks after the bridge for petty tolls, more or less. The bridge is in ruins and the troll's robbing people. Aye, it's because he's hit the bottle. If you could help him stop boozing. I'm a witcher, not a nanny. I'll pay you well. How much? A hundred orens. Two hundred. You're costly, but what the hell? Let him see I place the village's welfare above all else. Oh, ho, ho. I need to know if the a forest witcher. Is How am I to know if that's uh, truly what you see? It's common knowledge that you're racist. Your Greetings. Oh. Hmm. Ha, I've seen better. I don't know what you're talking about. Commander Dorito will explain everything. You've no right! What's going on here? This whore's a Scoyatel spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison, kicking us. Roderick says he bound her, but I don't believe that. I did! That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. Do what you will. This is none of my business. 
We'll take her to Laredo. He'll get the truth out of her. Test, eh? Yes, Yoda! Don't believe it. Dead to the sure, screw! Tommy Rock, he thinks. But he murdered King Demaven, too. Save the other as most likely. Hawk, Cock. Yes, Yoda! Dead to the screws! Greetings! What does a bloody witcher actually eat? Uh, mushrooms? Spuds? Why spuds? He's a human, of course. He sweats. Come on! Nearly got him! Go on! A wee bit more! Change your grip! Humans know as much about- You'll not have an easy time with me! I know you. I can see you're dying to ask me. What is it? All right, Thessa. What happened to Foltest? The king's dead, and the Scoia'tael are in it up to the tips of their pointed ears. Yada yada. The Scoia'tael are blamed for everything in this country, from bad crops to bad marital sex. I was there. I saw it. The assassin escaped with the help of Scoia'tael. Hmm. I guess the price on Yorvit's head will rise. Lorito sensed that already. If he can catch Yorvin. Fertilized by the elf's rotting corpse, his career will blossom somewhere far away from this dump. You gave Vernon a full report on Flotsam. Seen anything unusual around here? They've got some amazing women at the brothel. You should take a look. One of them. You know what I mean. A town like any other. It's got a harbor, an inn, and a stinking muddy river. That's what an ordinary man would say. But we poets also look into people's souls. When things are not good. I saw a robbery sanctioned by law. Town watchmen laughing as they confiscated goods, all the while talking about how they'd finally bring order to the town. I saw drunken thugs beat up an elf woman while no one even flinched. I know these things happen everywhere, but here, it's not motivated by hatred or misguided attempts at meeting out justice. People are driven by cold calculation. They're always looking for opportunities to get a little richer. I need information. Anything that could help me track down the Kingslayers. I only know gossip. Things folk have been saying since Demofen's death. People are throwing out blame left and right. One day it's the Elves, another the Nilf Guardians, then it's Rivians. Let me guess. The suspects also include a Zeracanian alchemist and a group of halflings. Bold theory, that. But the mob comes up with even better ones. Know what? Frankly, the most worrying effect of these assassinations is the chaos they've unleashed in people's minds. What do you mean? I mean chaos. People don't know what to think, who's good and who's evil. And these are tough times. Who knows what's going to happen? So, Mr. Master Spy, what's new in the world of politics? Bards singing about anything interesting these days? Edern's in trouble. 
Henselt and his great army are nearing the Pontark and will ford it and strike any day. Well, we haven't had a war in a long time. Like all little boys, he likes to play with his soldiers. But I don't think Kedwin will have an easy time of it. Edwin's borders are guarded by Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Who's she? Some mercenary? A peasant girl and self-proclaimed commander of something called the Adernian Voluntary Militia. Fighting women and bards who play politics. These are strange times. I'm having flashbacks, Dandelion. What have you remembered? My own death. I saw that with my own eyes, as I've told you many times. Yennefer gave her life to save yours. I thought you might have remembered what happened afterwards. I mean, how the devil can you be here now? I hear you, I see you, you're breathing. I, I mean, you're just alive. Dandelion, I've had a flashback or two. We don't know everything yet. Look, people! Wonders! Good to see you, Zoltan. What are you doing so far from home? It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenrig, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning a gavot. Fuck it. Out of sight, out of mind. Farewell to your daughter, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's Breckenrigs. I'm a plain merchant, and I've made my peace with that. you know someone named Cedric? Know him? We drank each other under the table last Saturday. I barely made it home. Where do I find him? Oh, most times gazing at the forest from a tower near Lobenden. Strange bird, that one. And a heavyweight when it comes to drink. Thanks. Can I ask you something, Zoltan? Sit down, Geralt, you old goat. Drinking alone is as bad as shitting in company. Another time, maybe. You've been here a while and probably know the local customs. I'm no researcher, but go on, ask away. Who would need a troll's head? Same folks who need a bear's head to hang on the wall, show how plucky they are. A peasant with a troll's head on his wall can raise many scouts. Thanks. Where are you off to? Sightseeing, round the houses of Lobenden. How are those biceps holding up, Sultan? Hard as a bull's bollocks. Arm wrestling's a dwarven pastime. We ought to try it sometime. <laughs> I'll arm wrestle you anytime. Now, even. Another time, Sultan. How are you killing time in this hellhole? At present, polishing gems for Sheila de Tanserville. Requires precision, but it's well paid. Jewelry? Not quite. The sorceress is building a magical contraption. Spends her days staring at it. A regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere with it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. Some temperament for those sorceresses. I'm telling you. Is there a good swordsmith or blacksmith here? There's a small smithy by the wall. Quite basic. The tools probably remember the conjunction of the spheres, but it'll do for weapon repairs. They also enhance swords with runes, and add ornamentation to armor. Just don't do anything that'll make you look like Dandelion at the opening of a new brothel. You can also look in on some merchants. I don't think Loritos robbed them of everything yet. Blossom's got a garrison. We don't need a witcher. Welcome to my modest shop.
What's it to me? Welcome. Greetings. Mind if I take a look at what you have in stock? Certainly. You're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Kairan? I've had my fill of this place, and I'll be glad when the blockade is finally lifted. The reader won't let you traders out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? I'm a subject of King Demavend. But I tell you, Demavend's dead. Ah. Uh. Now, if you don't mind, can we get down to business? And how do you find country? Was it worth it? Marrying in a dam? Love is where you find it. You're young and now. You'll return to Flotsam in tears, not a year from now. Here comes the Witcher. Thinking. Ha! Greetings. A word, if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a Witcher, we wondered if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Why not? Splendid! Excellent! Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment. Don't overdo it. Careful with those swords. How many more can there be?
take that. <laughs> 